your podcast. F your podcast. F your podcast. Nah, F your podcast for real. Damn, bro. <laughs> now I'm just saying we live we live in a transactionary world. You feel me? And at the end of the day, nobody's gonna give a fuck about who I am and what I do and shit. What they gonna care about is what the hell I can say to them that's gonna help them. Yep. Right? You feel me? And what they doing and shit. So, so my goal is just to cut straight to the point, man. I ain't no fluff ass nigga who's just gonna sugarcoat shit. You feel me? If you want the juice, here it is. All right. Well, shit. I mean, shit. everybody wants something. Yeah. Oh, Give it to what, what's that? Uh, oh, that Marilyn Manson song that's not actually by Marilyn Manson's remix. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> it's, it's I think I know like what you're talking about. Wants. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the concept of the exactly. song. You mean Sweet like, Dreams? Everybody. Yes. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sweet Dreams. Like like Bring it down just a little bit, though, so I, I want to make sure I hear every line he says. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So, I mean... I mean, now you got all fucking deep and retrospective. Nah. I, can't, I can't turn around and be like, so what's Party Boy mean? Why do you yeah. name yourself Party yeah. Boy Rock? Like, I mean, come at on. The end of the day, we can still run through it. You well, I mean, I, you, you know, just like I said, just to give people a feel, but then we really are going to get into it. So, But I want people to know who, you know, who is making these statements. Hey, we could turn it down just a little bit more. Yeah. So, just wanna, so, can we just turn it off? Yeah, I mean, you can, you can turn it's, it off. That's, that's why I turned it off originally. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, we want to we 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 hear Party Boy song. That was my idea. Everybody be mad at me. But guess what? F yo attitude. Anyway, hey. I'll be brand. F yo podcast. Right. <laughs> no, nah, but no, but real talk. Tell everybody, you know what I'm saying? I mean, why is why, Party Boy Rock yeah, Party why, Boy Rock? Exactly. Shit, I used to go by Rocker Man. That was just a name like my Rocker cousin. Man. Yeah, that was a name my cousin gave me when was I was it, younger. Was it, was it K-Rock? Hey, how you see it? <laughs> he be on that Norwalk hey, hey, hey. shit. He be on that Norwalk shit. shit. Yeah. Nah, it was yeah, K-Rock. That's shit. what my cousin gave me. And then I changed it to Rocket Man, but like just to embody more of like my energy, yeah, my swag, my vibe, everything I'm about. Uh, we changed it to Party Boy Rock because at the end of the day, like for me, life is just something that you know we have fun and we turn up and enjoy and shit. Mm. Like it's like a uh, one of my homies said one time, it's like a uh, it's like a, a a something tragedy. You feel me? Mm. Like it's beautiful, but it's also a tragedy. At yeah, the same time. it's like comedy so, and tragedy. I mean, yeah, they were made, they were created oh, at the same oh, time. Yeah, Comedic yeah, yeah. tragedy. That's Comedic yeah, tragedy. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I chose that name because, like, and it's crazy because you'll listen to my records and you'll mm-hmm. be like, "Why this nigga call himself Party Boy Rock when all his shit be so real?" Yeah, but like yeah. that's my energy I carry. It's almost like you gotta laugh just to stop from crying. Type mm. shit. You feel me? Oh, so, we get deep. So I that's just how that shit. You uh, gotta laugh just to stop from crying. Right. Yeah, I that's like that. That's that sad clown shit. That's yeah. what that yeah. is. Yeah. That's they deep. want me to kill myself. Hey. <laughs> Hey, so, but then, I guess, so then, is that the reason why you kind of departed from more of the lyrics, lyrical side? Just to maybe get more of an energy, or what, what, where'd that decision come from? Because, like you said, your older stuff is a little more lyrical, and then the stuff you're coming out now more of a vibe. Well, I seen, I grew up through this hip-hop shit. Mm. You feel me? I was Feeling you on that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I was listening to Nate Dogg and Warren G. Hey, and there you Regulators go. and hey, shit way back there you when. Go. And, like, I seen the whole progression in the times of, like, how music has evolved hip hop especially how it evolved and like I noticed you know I came from the east coast hey, and anything right. we was Shout doing what's, what's the best coast east coast east, east coast, <laughs> east coast. A- anything we was doing out there it was all lyricism Yeah. when I moved to the south I remember when I first came out here mm. I didn't like screw music Ooh. you feel me I didn't like controversial DJ, yeah like I didn't like DJ screw I, I didn't like none of that shit when I moved you out here from me? Philly I was like the fuck y'all playing this same exactly. way oh, boy. <laughs> exactly. same way same way but then yeah. after I lived here for a couple you years get the and I started fucking with the girls right started selling drugs and like doing all this sorts of shit I started understanding the culture right? and once I understood the culture I was like look it's not about the lyricism and the intellect It's right. about the sauce mm. And people don't know What the sauce is It's a mystery mm. You feel me? People don't know What, what the vibes is What the energy But once you come out here You pick it up You understand it And what, what's understood Don't gotta be spoken wow. and That's just kinda what it is So once I picked up on that I was like Yeah, it's not about the lyrics Yeah you know Party Boy Rock Gives the secret to the sauce hey, <laughs> hey, So that's just what it was And once I picked it up And understood it, man I was like Alright, we are gonna take this All the way home with it you Yeah me? So, so I mean how did you end up in Austin then? Like you said, you're from the East Coast, uh, Connecticut, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so how'd you end up all the way out here? Shit. It's a long, long trip. <laughs> Man, <laughs> uh, one of my homies died and oh, shit, got shit. shot and killed okay. um, out there in the East Coast and shit. And like, I, 
I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I kind of like lost my marbles and shit. I was just <laughs> out of there, and I I was ready to you know bang on niggas and do all sorts of wild shit. And my mm. mother saw that. And she was scared, and she thought I was going to die and shit, and I was getting in the fights. And I'm talking about within a week of my homie getting killed or whatnot, she was just like, nah, I got to get this little nigga out of here. So she sent me to my uncle in Houston, Texas. Shout out H-Town. And uh, went to Langham Creek, went to school out there and shit. You okay. feel me? And it was just a whole different switch. You need to get different. away. Yeah. I feel you. The energy. All of that. Yeah. It's kind of similar for me in New York. Yeah, you yeah. got to kind of Because people don't know energy. New Haven, Connecticut. I think we was like number one and number three or some shit. Okay. Homicide per bad. capita. And shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. So like, so all my niggas, like half my niggas I grew up with them got shot, got stabbed, died and shit. You know? Mm. So like all that shit was just too crazy for me to be, be in. And my mother was like, hey, you got to get out of there. Damn, how old were so you? How old were you? And I was 15. I was, Damn. Yeah, so it was, was early. Like, yeah, I was That's when that shit happens though, man. Yeah. Like in all honesty, like, I mean, that's that's when you're down to ride. Like, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're still figuring out who you are in the world. Right. And then yeah. like. Influence you lose someone that was crucial to at the time who you were and right. yeah man no I feel that shit shout out my dog Kashim man there you Band go bottle, all of my niggas you know? that's what's up yep. shout them out heavy man well I mean so I mean that kind of helps damn explain. this is a room full of East Coasters to tell yeah that's talk. crazy right this is a first shit. real yeah. talk actually because yeah. normally we have Austin natives out here so big shout out yeah. to you you know what I'm saying we we transport all three of us real but shit. with that said though I mean so is so being out here in this culture is helping. I guess influence the music you're coming out with now, but yeah. do you plan on uh, uh, working in a balance uh, of? Because I know in a lot of ways when you listen to your older, your newer stuff, there are still hints of your older stuff. There yeah. isn't. You do put some medicine in yeah, the, yeah, you know, yeah. some. I like with how the you sugar. put that yeah. too. Some medicine and shit. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. Because like one thing I learned about South rappers, Southern rappers. And, like, the wave that I'm on that I listen to and I fuck with, like I told you earlier, I, I fuck with Gunner and people like that yeah, and yeah. shit. And, like, they're able to say more with less. Right. Mm. You feel me? So, mm. like, the thing, I still take those intellectual concepts and I'm able to funnel it through a Southern flavor. That's dope. You feel me? So, I still rock I never thought it. about it like that, too. Southerners do do more. That's true. Yeah. That's ill. So, I take that East Coast, all that lyricism, all that yeah. intellectual shit, and then we just... Say streamline it. Yeah, we streamline it. We say it with real simple words, simple, simple lyrics. You feel me? And if people are smart enough to peep game, they'll be like, damn, this nigga said one line that don't really mean much. Like, I remember I was listening to one shit uh, my nigga Gunner said. He was like, Lee, uh, he said, uh, Lee, you like an abortion, Lee, your head crack. Mm. You feel me? And like, it's such a simple line, but right. if niggas know about abortions Abortion. and shit, they be Ooh. pulling them babies out. You feel Ooh. me? They be, you look at the pictures after and they head all blown up and no, shit. They have, to, they have to like break so, down their bones. To exactly. And, and it's like it's like I seen that shit in college. You dig? I learned that in college. How many people know that shit just on some regular shit? So yeah. go to show that a man like that understand like right. how that shit really worked. But he said it. He simplified it. So everybody can digest it. And at the same time, like you were saying that sauce earlier, like you, you got to play. You still got, as a rapper, you still have to sell your music. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter if you are the most conscious person in the world if you're not forming it in a way that people are going to enjoy to listen to it. Absolutely. So like people are going to be like, oh damn, that line was hard, gun. And then like, yeah. Some people, like you said, are gonna pick up on that shit and be like, other people gonna be bro. like, ah, oh, that's whack. That ain't that's so you dig mediocre or yeah. whatever. But, but like, I'm just saying, like, people are gonna be like, oh, damn, he said he's gonna come for your head, and people are gonna be like, damn, he's referencing like the real scale of abortion, of like how that shit really. So it, it, yeah, man, exactly yeah. what you're saying. Like, yeah. there's a whole double yeah. entendre. And I started shit. respecting that being an East Coast nigga coming to the South and just peeping game. You gotta hide it out here. Shit. You yeah. gotta put the pill in the little meat to feed yeah. the dog. Like, <laughs> this guy, like, you trying to switch the shit? Yeah, Don't like, be trying to be switching my shit. No, but like, no, I know absolutely. Like, um, and and actually, you 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 mentioned him earlier. In a, a, a father that is Andre. So, yeah. In a lot of ways, like people listen to Andre's music and they just they feel the vibe. Like a, a prime example is Ro- is what is it Rose? Remember that with the uh, oh yeah no, but fuck all that toilet Tisha. But exact everything. Everything. If you, if you really does. know Toy Latisha, bro, like that yes, was one of the absolutely. least played songs. But that he's talking about absolutely. a girl from Atlanta that got pregnant, pregnant and like yeah. killed herself. Yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah, want to have yeah. this baby. But the vibe yeah, is crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. though, and you can groove to it. And you, like you said, there's people that'll just groove to it and enjoy it. And then there's people that are really digest the message and said. still enjoy. Spody is like that's that. the key because oh, Spody yeah, people Odie. just like jam to all the time. But uh-huh. he's talking about like his his love in Atlanta, who ended up like dying like to the heroin needle, yep, like yep. behind his school. Like he left 
pursued his musical goals, came back. And she was dead. She was dead. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. So, I mean, you mentioned it earlier. So, you you a college man. So, I mean, yeah. like, tell us how I mean, how do you transition from that? Like, and you have an associate's and a bachelor's, correct? Damn, <laughs> how is that? this is hard, bro. Like, I'm no, like, junior. Shit, so you understand why yeah, I keep yeah, him yeah. around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I this man. This I gotta That's do something, man. Hey. <laughs> he, he, earned, he, earned, he earned his hey, way around here. All the interviews. Interviewers out there gotta take note, man. There you, you go. really gotta do your homework. Trying, I respect bro. that. Like, so I yeah, tell, I mean, tell us how'd you make that transition? I mean, why? I, like, I started off as a rapper, street nigga. Oh, you first, feel me? right, right. right. Okay. I did that first. Mm. You feel me? Because he yeah, had to. I had to. Hey, <laughs> stop answering these questions, goddamn it. <laughs> Let him answer his own question. Re- <laughs> referencing my tracks and shit. Hey, I like this man. Hey, but real shit, I did that first. And then, like, my mother just, you know, I'm Nigerian. So, oh, there we go. anybody knows anything about the Nigerian culture. Motherland, that's you, what's up. You ain't shit unless you get a bachelor's degree in Now, real quick, science, you, were, you were actually lawyer. born in Nigeria, though, right? I was born Legit. in Nigeria. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All okay. the way. And I came out here when I was two years old. My first memory in life was being on a plane, coming okay. to America and shit. Wow, that's what's up. Um, but yeah, uh, when, I, you know, my mother, she just drilled it in my head. Like, yo, you got to get your education. You got to get your right. education. I ignored her. I fought it. I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to be a rapper all these years. But eventually, I just humbled myself, you dig, and was just like, fuck it. I'm going to just go do it just to make her happy. I literally went to school strictly to make her happy. And um, when I was done, man, I got an associate's in sound recording technologies and a bachelor in computer science. Goddamn. So, That's what's up. It ain't yeah. no bullshit. You know, so, yeah. you know, is it social sciences? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, yeah. I'm, a lit, I'm a lit major. Yeah, Fuck out of here. Like, you yeah. can actually use your degrees. Yeah, That's yeah I suck. use it every day, man. And, like, I was fighting her through the whole thing, but now living life and, like. You understand she was yeah, right. Yeah, Real she tough. Was, she was right then a month. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, yeah, mama bro. always right, she bro. Right I feel mother, that shit, bro. Man. My parents yeah. were always like, yo, you need to go to school, blah, blah. And once again, like, talking about the culture, like, let's be honest, that was part of, you know, that white culture culture in america my yeah. parents were like and i also think you know the generational gap now i don't think people use yeah. their degrees as much but mm-hmm. like our our parents you know very much like we did this this is how we got our job blah blah, blah. they were like See, now, you're getting a degree and it, i was like well i'm making it, music so i did the same shit as you yeah, i was like well, if I'm it was anything else it wouldn't I, if it was anything else i'd be like all right man fuck it you know it's not really that important but yeah. because it was computer science mm. yeah that was why it was worth it. Right. You feel me? If it was like, oh, get your degree and be a history major yeah. and all that other shit. No, no, that's exactly I what I'm I tell people right now, don't go to school for that shit. Right. <laughs> don't waste your time no. on We're in the information age and 90% of the shit that you can learn out there, yeah. you go learn it on YouTube. Get a YouTube. degree you can actually fucking use. Yeah, no, bro, I feel you. That's, and that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying is I was finally like, you know what? I do understand that this is for my benefit, but I, I've had this love for music. And so I went and got like my degree in like recording and engineering yeah. so like it yeah. was the same thing it was like well Real I'm gonna shit. get something that I can use and something that I care yeah, about and something know. that at the like, end of the day I can use to benefit me too what is that a technical degree right it's, already, it's a science degree yeah it's dude. one of the it's same it's same, computer same sciences yeah. yeah so that's what's up then so there's a I computer mean, science degree and then there's like computer science there's a bachelor of like, science then there's a ba- bachelor's of arts oh that's right that's right mm-hmm. and then bachelor's of arts is more it's it's not as intensive, math intensive. It's more for like if you want to get into management, I guess. Okay. Um, but yeah. bachelor's of science is the actual people who go in and the nuts and bolts. Yeah, and shit. who yeah, really yeah, know yeah. the shit. So that's what the I. The ones did. that get the real money. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, see you, you out here. You get the money with the BA too and everything. Not knocking none of that, but yeah. you feel me? It's just different. Paths. Fuck that BS. We out here. <laughs> that's what we do. It's F your podcast. F your degree. F your <laughs> degree. God damn it. All right. Hey. Get that BS. Stop bullshit. That's what we out here. BS. Not bullshitting BS bachelor's of science, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but I mean, like, like you have said, he's he's saying, like, so you got your degree, you make music, but I, I mean, we kind of know you also got you got a lot of bags, bro. I mean, what, what's up with the acting? Like, I, I heard you out here trying to I did a little movie, shouts out to my brother, yeah, Gigolo, he put tell us something about that, like, how you end up in acting, like, he, he just did all over the place. It, I mean, it's just something I always want to do. Oh, so up. you always want to be like, goddamn, bro. Yeah, I'm busy. It was, it was just crazy. No, you Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> Look, like yeah. nine jobs. Sorry yeah. for the sniffles. Yeah, but yeah, my bro put me on a show. You feel me? Shouts out, executive room and everything. Okay. Um, he put me on a show, uh, put me in this little Netflix movie or whatever. Oh, put and me it was, on. It was dope, bro. You got a, uh, what's that shit? I, what is it? IBMD? Am I saying that right? What is that? IMDB. I, that shit. Yeah, some shit. I don't know if it's on that, bro. IBMD. I, I make up my shit. Fuck y'all. I do what I want. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Okay. But I can't tell you if it's out yet or not. I know there was some politics behind that. Okay. So. But y'all did it shoot. It's called something shoot. like Credit Report or something. It was a comedy. Mm. I had my homie King Sutherland on there. That shit sound funny uh, already. Black homie. people, credit, yeah. <laughs> I love it. My Already homie Austin it. Martin in that motherfucker. Uh, oh, yeah, hey. I had, yeah, okay. a bunch of homies was in that, man. It was oh, so it was shit. shot here. It was shot here in Austin, Texas. Oh, okay. So bro. talking about people that you worked with. Yeah. Yeah. So you got Austin. Yeah. Right? Austin Martin, King Solo, um, Horace Don out of California, his girl. Yeah. Uh, I see little G's out here. They out here getting it. And there's oh, a pretty man. big Fuck name that real. you've that you've worked Recently with too, featured. right? Yeah. Got some about? new coming out, Tory. <laughs> oh, he said, "I don't know what you' talking about." Hello, like, 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 yo, hey, hey, that's a, that's supposed to be low key. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. All right, well, well, let's let's keep it to what you're able to say. But yeah. you you work with Tory, then you you've you worked knew- you've worked with industry artists. Well, I was yeah. gonna say you knew him previously to all this, though, right? Yeah, previously to working with him before man. he blew up. Yeah, Tory Lanez was somebody who, uh, you know, coming up with the whole Scoremore gang and everything. I seen him coming up. Uh, performing, doing shows, and we actually used to do a lot of shows. You did not mm. together, but we was opening up at the same time. So right. there was a time where Scormo was booking same me circles for, and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Scormo mm-hmm. was booking me for a lot of shows, and a lot of my accolades comes from Scormo. I opened up for Big Sean Wale, uh, Big Crit, Trader Truth. That's what's up. I was Wale, just asking about that. Yeah. You feel me, Waka Flocka, like Drake, all these people. And um, opening up for him, Scormo put me on. But at the same time they was putting me on, they was putting him on. That's what's up. You feel me? But that's when I decided to go to school, take a little hiatus, yeah, 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 yeah. get my degree. And then one day my nigga hit me up. He was like, hey, come to the uh, Whitewater Amphitheater with me. You dig? I'm doing this little uh, zone shots. You know, the little drones and shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was like, I'm doing that. That's big, yeah. Yeah, he said, I'm doing that for uh, Big Sean. So oh. I come out there. And I, at first I was so like, now nah. this is this is before... He was Tory Lanez. Right? No, no. This is when he blew up, but I didn't oh. know about it. Oh. <laughs> so I was in the dark. That's what I'm wait, saying. Wait, like, so so was, it, was yeah. it him that hit you up? Tory Lanez hit nah, you up? Nah, Tory didn't hit me up. It was my dog who was doing drone shots. Doing the shots for, for Sean. Yeah, for, I got you. for Big okay. Sean. Right, 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 right. And right. then when I came out to the Whitewater Amphitheater, I seen Philip, Sasha, Tory, all of them. I was like, oh, what's going on here? And come to find out, Tori was open enough for Big Sean. Tori's like, yeah, bro, I'm not dude. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not dude I now, swear, right? Bro. I swear. <laughs> and when they see me, they was like, hey, Rock, come to the back and shit. I went backstage, roll up with him, smoke with him, all that shit. Oh, yeah. And next thing you know, I'm coming to find out this nigga got like 50 million views on <laughs> yes, YouTube. Sir. He signed to a record label. In streets. Bro. Yo. And, and I'm like, yo, this nigga done met. He's on the radio and yeah, shit. Man. And I went home and was like, yo, this is my dog I used to do shows with. Right. And now this nigga famous and shit. Over so, here don't and I next. love this yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't yeah. shit. You next. It's all in due real, time. Bro. You know what I'm saying? It's so, all in due time. Yeah, so I seen that, man, and that just lit a fire under my ass and was there like, damn, the same people I'm bumping shoulders with is now on. So now I oh, gotta yeah. go ahead. And, and then you've been bumping shoulders with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, and That's then we. Good. And then they show love, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, I gotta respect one umbrella the whole score more camp because it's been about five years. And they've been showing me love ever since. They pulled me out on tour the whole 2016. That's what's uh, Tori just dropped a track with me, did a song with me. You feel now, me? Now, is so that out yet? Love. It's not out. It's coming out okay. 2019. That's why I was so like, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. So we jumping the gun. <laughs> I don't know if I can yeah, say yeah. things yet. But or no, not, no, no, but. no. But it's okay because yeah. he ain't doing no more interviews yeah. with yeah. nobody else. Hey, yeah. we are right. Uh, well, so it's all right. But I, <laughs> I, want, I wanted to ask because it's like, I feel like when this comes out, there may be people that jump to the whole, like, because there, there are a lot of artists that get on to a more popular artist track and even yeah. pay to get onto that artist track. Mm, yeah. And then, what you mean, Cloud Chase? Well, not not necessarily. Like, some of them are really good artists, but they just use it as, as a platform. Nice. You mean Cloud Chase? No. Some people Stop do it. use it as a valid platform and Cut some Cloud Chase. You mean Cloud Chase? But I want, the reason I want to ask that is to clarify that this yeah. isn't a clout chase. This is Obviously not. He knew him before. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's what I wanted to ask. I'm not like, He's on to, my song. Yeah. It's hey, not, no. I'm, I'm not look, on his look, song. Look. He's on my song. Yeah, that's I, right. I there you go. I didn't, I didn't want to you spoil did. the release and like, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But, there you go. But this has been an established relationship. Absolutely. This was something known yeah. beforehand. Over right. time, organic, just built it up. I mean, we was on tour with him all 2016. Shouts to my manager, Trey Beta, Trey the Celebrity Barber. Uh, we just been bumping heads with him, rocking with him a whole bunch. Trade a celebrity barber, sounds familiar to you? <laughs> <laughs> I know him. Yeah, he yeah. come to Zoomies and do a fucking promo. This guy. Look, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he shopped there. Guy, he he shopped there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know everybody. 
bro. That's crazy. I'm gonna look this right now. Y'all, y'all keep doing what you yeah. do. I, t- I told you, long hair, normal guy. What the fuck, this guy, normal or part two over here? No, yeah. but so people just actually, like me, man. I'm yeah. sorry, but it kind of leads because to me, you did it the right way. You know what I'm saying? You did it the organic way. You put the work in. Like you said, Absolutely. you didn't come with a bag to a, a, a popular artist that didn't know you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It was just like, get on my feature, I could pay you. Yeah. You built a relationship through your work. You yeah. know what I'm saying? With someone else that was trying to build yeah. through their work. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Really. So, I can appreciate how you did it. But, I mean, what, what are your thoughts on some of these artists out here? And, you know what I'm saying? It's out here. Yeah. You know, but it's in a lot of cities. What is your thought on some of these cats getting that bag and then just paying for that feature, but don't really have a relationship with those people, and it's strictly business? I mean, you would you suggest that route, or was you suggest to do it more of the, you know, what I mean, homegrown style, like how you did? <clears throat> you got well. The thing, I'm gonna be completely honest. Yeah, Ain't I'm, no bullshit. No, 100. percent After your podcast, we real up in here. So, at, at the end of the day, if you got the bag to go ahead and pay an artist to get on the song. Mm. Then you a boss. Damn, that's what's up. I mean, and, that, and that's right, yeah. and to me, to me, that's just real shit. Like I can't, yeah, no, I, can't I'm I can't front for. for no camera. I can't yeah, front yeah, for yeah. no radio. If you could go ahead, drop 20, 30 bands to do a song with a nigga, you a boss. But what I would say is if that you get on a Drake track, get on the fucking Drake track. You, see, you like, see what I'm saying? But at the same time, make sure you got your business right to mm. where you're gonna make that money back. Right. If you just dropping twenty bands and then you get on a song. You gotta understand. You still gotta promote that song. Damn you feel right. me? And if you just twenty bands in a hole and and that's it, you dig? Then, then you just lost a bag. You gave somebody else a bag. Right. And that, that's foolish that's shit. True, right? But if you drop twenty bands, but you got a plan behind it, a marketing plan, a promo plan behind it, to where you're gonna turn that twenty into forty bands, fifty bands, mm. then you a smart motherfucker. Damn right. And that's the kind of shit that I be on. You feel me? Like I don't mind dropping bread. 10, 20, 30 bands for an artist to do a song with me because I know I'm going to take that, run them numbers up, you feel me, and go ahead and make 50 bands back, 60 you bands go. back, yeah, the sponsorship. You got to spend money to make collab- money. Like, exactly. Right. And like, not just as the phrase, like that shit's real. Yeah, yeah. So so I don't, I can't knock nobody who understand what they're doing. Right. But if somebody done saved money for four or five years right. and then dropped their whole savings just to do a song oh. with a nigga, just to say I did a song with a nigga. And it's right. a trash you, verse. You're a fool. And like, yeah. Yeah, Even yeah, if yeah. it's dope. If, yeah, you, yeah. if you just lost that money, you a fool. Yeah. yeah. And then the understanding, I mean, like now to running the business side of this shit, you know what I'm saying? I started and just the artist side of shit but now running a business there's way more involved too so exactly what you're talking is exactly yeah. right like, you gotta know your it, overheads and know how you're gonna make your that's shit what well besides yeah. that fact when you're dealing with major artists you're not just dealing with that artist you're dealing with that label the company so you need to get those management. clearances so yeah like you said you can have that 50, that 50 20 bands whatever but if you pay that shit and the label's like Nah, they don't I mean, even clear your shit. <laughs> you you paid that artist twenty bands for some shit that will Might never, never be released. Out. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. you're right, man. It's all about your business, man. So that's yeah. really good. And I actually kind of was gonna lead into that question, like what you know, what advice would you have for these up and coming artists? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what could you tell these young Austin artists out here trying to get it? You know what I'm saying? Reveal the sauce. I could say <laughs> reveal the sauce. Not all the sauce though. Nah, just give a little bit. We want to, we want you to come back. Yeah, sample, yeah, no, sample. It, yeah, the yeah, sauce. yeah. We need a little sample sauce. Sample the sauce. Because you're coming back. We need more. You can't give all the sauce. <laughs> the, mo- the best I could tell other artists, man, is come fuck with me and Trey Pound Enterprise. Hey, <laughs> look at that. That's how you do it. Hey, come, hey but come, you're not wrong right. though. Because at the end of the day, like we know what we're doing. And, and we gonna make shit right Like we really trying to put together An online record label Out here in Austin, Texas And there get people involved To help them branch out And do the things That we're doing Okay But real real talk though People really gotta get out here And focus on their marketing And promo And I'm gonna yep. tell you why mm. Cause I spent year after year Doing mixtapes And songs I got like 10, 11 mixtapes mm. And I spent Same. year after year Doing records Two, three hundred people will listen to it, mm-hmm. and then that's it. It and just kind of dies out, and it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, it's right, just two hundred, right, three hundred people right. listen to it, but if it, it that doesn't mean that, shit, yeah, like, that momentum. Exactly. And then you got someone like Lil Xan that literally does, you know, an EP. Yeah, and you know, yeah, now he's millions. You yeah, feel yeah, me? yeah. So, so in twenty seventeen, when I connect connected with Trey, it was like, hey, we're gonna do this for real, and we're gonna really push it. Um, I, I decided to stop doing mixtapes and stop mm. doing albums and mm. just do singles mm. and focus on the marketing and the promo. Right. And ever since I started doing that, that's when I started seeing results. Okay. So what I advise anybody in Austin, Texas, like I said, I give you the sauce. Focus on your marketing and your promo. 
I know like me saying that doesn't actually explain what to do and how to do it. Mm-hmm. But the idea is you want to take your project and you want to get it to as many people as possible. Yeah. And there's ways of doing that, but you need to research, figure it out, get out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you don't understand, come holler at us. There you enterprise. go. That's and why you don't <laughs> give all the songs. And just to <laughs> clarify, because yeah. while I have met a lot of people, oh, I'm a my humble God. brag. Let's clear. Yeah, here we go. go. To clarify, because I'm not going to lie about the shit, I don't know Trey. I looked at it. I know a guy named Kev the Barber. Who's okay. who's like apparently a yeah. music manager, a real good barber, a yeah. real tight dude, homie of mine. I don't know Trey. Oh, so you're hey, not claiming it. that one. So hey, you're not pun- claiming that Hey, punch it in on Instagram. He got oh, I just did. 90, I just, 90, I'm following him. Like, we're yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to meet Trey now. But yeah. Yeah. I knew you know, like Kev, 90, the barber. Followers. I knew Kev not Trey the barber. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so for once, he didn't claim. I, I don't know. Well, I don't want to make a false claim. I, nah, don't I appreciate wanna, that. You know, that's why he's honest. I'm not going to falsify my shit. And that's why we hashtag F your podcast. We keep it 100 in this bitch. Now, I'm going to ask the question because we are here for this. What's your thoughts on the Austin Chronicle main motherfucking interviews that they did for hip hop? Because if you've been out here, they hardly ever do it. They got the next generation on that list. Tell me how you feel about it. Is it accurate? And even if if you feel it's not or whatever, just... Tell me how you feel about the scene in general. Are, are they getting it right? Um, I'm a, you wanted this smoke. I'm going to give you smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to answer the smoke. Uh, I'm going to be real. I'm going to first start off and say that I'm a different kind of person. Mm. I'm a different breed. You feel me? Because in my mind, I'm a mogul and I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah, and I'm up. a businessman. So to be honest... I could give a fuck about the Austin Chronicle. Mm. That's not no shade. You feel me? Go ahead, subscribe to their list. Go look at them, peep game. Mm. And but, if they want to hit you up, they still can. Yeah, <laughs> if y'all want to hit me up, you still can. That's cool. But the reality is this, right? Mm. You come out with a top 20 list, all the illest niggas, mm. you know, in Austin making moves, and you could give them all the accolades you want. But shit, I, I can make 100 bands in one month doing what I'm doing. Talk that shit. And... and what you your praise don't mean shit to me. Yeah, because it ain't bringing me? in bags. I it, it, it don't pay me nothing. It don't make nothing for me. So I'm a different breed, my nigga. I made 100 bands in August. Mm. And like you telling me I'm dope or not or I'm on or not don't mean shit to me. Unless you're handing me 100 bands. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, make so, that other 100 bands. So whether yeah. they right, whether they wrong, I don't care, my nigga. As long as I'm feeding my family, taking care of business. Like I said, I just got a song with T Lanes. You did. Yeah, we yep, working on facts. A, we working on a Cardi B feature. We working on a future feature. Talk like we we out shit. here doing business. Talk like we, we that got, shit. Shut up. I shut tell up. future. By the way, bro. I feel like nobody <laughs> hey, talks about future. That's hey, the man's. Bro. Hey, I tell people Fuck like that. this. Shout out, party boy. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. that right man. Now. I tell people like this. The reason people stay local mm. is because they stay local. Mm. They so, can't get their mind out of so, there. So I don't give a fuck about anything that's going on here because I already, I already traversed all the platforms out here. I done yeah. opened up for all the biggest artists, done Big all facts. the biggest shows yep. out in Austin, connected yep. with the top promotional company. Shout mm-hmm. out to Score More. You dig? So now I'm trying to go to LA. I'm trying to go to New York. I'm trying go. to go to Atlanta. Big facts. I'm trying to go to Africa. I'm trying to go hey, to Europe. I'm trying to go to Japan. Right. Like I'm trying to travel the country and get my name in those platforms because that's what's going to make me bigger. Yeah. Worrying about what the fuck going on in Austin is none of my concern. Big Cause, facts. Because what they're doing now, they should have been doing five, ten years ago. Talk and they shit. wasn't showing nobody no love. They wasn't giving Talk nobody shit. no opportunities. So we was like, fuck them. Let's go get it from somewhere else. Oh. And now these niggas out of town in Miami playing our record on the radio Facts. Ohio oh, California yeah. Atlanta all this shit so it's like damn we gonna fuck with them people <laughs> you yep. dig so that's just that's just where I am so like no disrespect to them or to anybody you dig and Again, if niggas is like, oh, fuck that nigga, we're going to blackball him. I'm just like, bro, you never fuck with me anyway. Right. It <laughs> didn't so pay me in the first place. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> At the end of the day, accommodations are tight, but like yeah. rent cannot be paid by compliments. Big facts. Like, yeah. I feel and understand, that, when yeah. I'm, I'm sitting there saying, party boy talking that shit, but understand he's certified. This yep. is not yeah. me just saying he's talking shit. He's talking facts. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, I respect that. And that's not, nah, it's because it's the truth. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And... And cats out here need to educate themselves on that shit. Because, like yeah. you said, so many people out here focus on, like you said, lists and trying to be the hottest out here. Your your vision is way larger. Yeah, yeah, you trying to be the hottest in the world, Real not shit. just out here. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is just where you stay right now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I, I totally fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, but don't like, That's I why mean, you're sitting on this couch right now. When you right don't now. lock yourself yeah. down to the location and to that, to, to like, yeah. when you don't relegate yourself to this is what I am, yeah. when you open that box, that's that's what you become. And relegate. I, mean, I like that, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what them dictionary words. No, yeah, yeah, so yeah, Don't relegate yeah, I mean, yourself. Always, yeah, I always get on my ass for the SAT yo, words. I, I like that yo, shit. Five, you talking I like he just got out the pen. Like, he spent, like, 10 years and he was in the legal library, like. Listen, I pontificated. Right. Defecate my ponderance <laughs> on <laughs> the soliloquies in your mind. I'm like, word said, really? Bro, we out here? This shit and then he'll drop a humble brag when I was in Zoom and see. <laughs> 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 no, but um, we gonna. I mean, that's. I think. Per, I mean, I think that's really how we should like really ride. I think like yeah. like tell them like where they can find you. I mean, we still gonna do the top five because yeah, no, yeah, that's bro. Five like, things, where, so like like shout yourself out. Like yeah. where where are where I want are to know these where people they can find gonna you. find you, yeah, see yeah. you, hear you, and, and the company, trade. everything. Yeah, right. Yeah. My biggest platforms that I want people to focus on is Instagram and Spotify. Plug. Yeah, that's you know. where I make that's money. That's the money, right? That's, Look, that's the money. Exactly. So I'm not gonna waste time on any other platform. You go to Spotify. You punch in Party Boy Rock. That's Regular word party B O I R O K K. Yeah, look that up. I got unique records. You feel me? We dropping this shit. You can punch it on Instagram too. You fuck with me. Yeah, you hear all the latest tracks. We about to get billboards out here in Austin. You gonna see that shit soon. I'm gonna go paint my face next to everybody else. (laughs) Look, they gonna be like, look, look. I wasn't at Zoomies, but I was at the podcast. (laughs) Shut the fuck up. We already know. All right, man. It was it was tight though, because like we we've had local artists here, and we we have Mm -hmm. a couple more people that are really important in the in the community because it is you know good to build the like we were talking about the culture like that is out here, and we're gonna have a couple other people. We might even have a couple episodes that aren't even here. That oh, we yeah, talked absolutely. about, yeah, yeah. but uh, I was talking to one of my homies that okay. really fucks with the podcast, and he was like, "Yeah, man, like it's it's tomorrow, right?" I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Who do you guys have this week?" And I was yeah. like, "Cause he fucked with our other dudes, you know." But yeah. once again, more Soon local dudes. He he knew who they were because he hangs out with me, and yeah. I've shown him. And but this dude doesn't really listen to a lot of rap music, and like white skater kid, like listen to yeah. heavy metal music all day. That's all he listens to. And I was like, uh, "Party Boy Rock," and he was like. No, like really, and I was like, "Yeah, no, Party Boy Rock." He's like, "Like, like that dude with that single jump," and yeah. I was like, "Oh shit, Party Boy, B O I R O." Yes, we out here, yeah, That's bro. Right, and so bro. he geeked, That's and I was really... like, "Yeah, man, that shit's tight." And like, I think because, I, like, I, I'm always in that mindset yeah. of like, we are all just people at the end of the day, you know. Yeah, and once again, trying like being someone that has been in this scene, like you right. know, we do meet people. Like Absolutely. the reality is, like we meet people, yeah, and. It, well, I mean, that's exactly how me and him ended up connecting because yeah. we have similar energies. Like, he understands, yeah. like, I fuck with you. Like I told you, I, I lay out the olive branch. For you sure. want to rock with us? I'll do whatever it, I can to help you get to where you want to get to because you want to help yeah. me. And we're going we're gonna to sure. help each other, you know, equally. But if I lay that olive branch out and you step on it and you're like, man, yeah. fuck you, I'm out here getting it. I'm like, cool. I, I still shake your hand. But guess yeah. what? We Now it's like, I'm just going to take over, bro. Because I know what I'm going to be. Yeah. I know what my company's going to be. I know what we all going to be. So well, I, about I think I think it's moving. I think it's two things. I think it's that, you know and I think it's also the like as a person that's yeah. not making a hundred bands in August, you you can't step into the room and be like, oh hey, you gotta yeah, be like, yeah, what's yeah, up, man? Dog? Speak for your fucking yeah. self. No, no. I, <laughs> okay, yeah, but I just mean like you know you can't you can't fanboy over everybody yeah. you meet. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. there's there's a reason that like when I've met these people it went well, and it's not like oh I got a signed T-shirt. People are like, where's the Instagram photo? I'm like, I didn't take one. Yeah, but I, I, mean, wasn't yeah like, I mean you you are also. I'm gonna I'm gonna t- 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 tell you sure. straight up. People in the industry like they don't like that shit. I have no, that, and that's what I'm saying is I know that everybody like, acts like that when they come around and yeah, shit. Bro. So like you just got to be yourself. They'll respect that. Well, and people always get cool. pissed. They're like, why do industry people only fuck with industry people? And it's like because they are on the same. Because way when that, you come into yeah, my house and you're like, oh, you guys have yeah. a, a podcast studio and a recording studio and like just like and y'all do video and I'm like, calm down. This is our daily life. Like. <laughs> This is yeah. what we do, and then like we bring yeah. an artist in, and people geek on it. It's yeah. like, well, you, you know, can't work at Zoomies, be doing that. People. Like, yeah. well, I mean, yeah. in other ways too, man. Like, just meeting people through the life, and like yeah. that was just funny to me because I forget sometimes. Yeah. And like my homie so, geeked, and I was like, no. Nah, so I made a New boy. Year's resolution. I think it was 2017. <clears throat> oh, okay. Where I said, I said this year, I'm going to stop doing all this music because I used to just make my own records, do the hook, the verse, both both verses or three verses, whatever, and just mm. do it all myself. 
and I made a New Year's resolution where I said I got to branch out and network. Yeah. And all these hot records that I'm making that I feel is dope as shit and it could take over the world and make me famous as shit, right. I got to give it to people. And I got to show love and I mm. got to network because I said I got to make it a point to humble myself mm. and just put my shit out there. That's and saying. ever since I started moving with that mind frame, like every time I do a record now, it's just I just do the hook, do my verse, and I leave another verse open. Because yeah, if I meet somebody who got some sauce, I'll be like, hey, get on a record. Yep. Like I just Well, then you double your market immediately. Well, and it's not even that. Just that energy. I believe in that shit. That energy brings that love. success into the world it's for you. Love. Right, because yeah. you're... You're you're extending that energy out to the world, yeah. and if you have that, like a lot of ways, like like that's what Drake has been doing. He's been doing that for day one. Like yeah. he's been putting on a lot of cats. Like people talk about all that shit about the views and all of that. Those albums he was putting on British cats where they were buzzing out there. Yeah. Well, nobody playing that shit out here. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then then, then they want people. Oh, nah, he wasn't doing. It. Then he did the the African shit. He was bringing that out. Yep. He, and you, well, he didn't have to. He was Drake already. Yeah, yeah. But this what with you two, said. With the Tuesday, nigga. Exactly. Atlanta, that's what I'm saying. McCone McCone and and shit. That's what I mean. Yeah. Exactly. I love McCone. Block, the yeah. most recent one's yeah. Block Boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, then, yeah, you ain't got to do that. You on another level. But yeah. just the fact that he he's yeah. doing exactly what you said. Yeah. And look, he ain't he ain't losing out here. You doing what you yeah. just... And you ain't losing Like that record here. with me and Austin Martin, we got we about to break 300K on Oh, yeah. It. And that it's shit's fire, too, though, now. Thank you, thank it's not you. just the energy. Yeah. That shit bad. Yeah, and, and, and he it did helps a great job, good. though. It helps <laughs> yeah, good, that's though. the thing. It like, we don't want to take that away from Austin Martin. Like, yeah, he, no, he hell, killed he killed that shit 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, that's the thing, bro. Like, that's a record I could have kept for myself and just been like, nah, I'm going to take all the sauce on this, take all the glory. But it's like by being able to branch it out to him, and, and show love to him when I when I get popping, he get popping, and then he he got to come back come and back be to like, you. "Hey, hey, my well, bro, it's like it's love. like what you're talking exactly. about. It's like what we're talking about with Tory Lanez. It's like it, as long as they're like a real dude, like yeah. you, you, win you together. and Tory were yeah. doing yeah. shit back in the gap when y'all were both yeah. trying to eat. Come back a few years later, he's popping. He's love. You reach out, and it's there's still love there. Yeah. Exactly. Like if you were like. You know, back then, if you're like, yeah. man, I'm going to fuck you up on this intro, no, dog. Yeah. Like, fuck your track. I'm going to open up. No one's going to remember you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Talk, you come real back recognize yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, bro, I'm trying yeah, to get back yeah. in this shit. Like, yeah, real recognize See, and that's real, the man. problem with Austin. A lot of artists out here in Austin, like, everyone wants to be the first person to blow up. Always talk about this shit, bro. Tell me, talk yeah, tell everybody, talk everybody wants to come out here and be like, oh, it's my shine, it's my sauce, it's my whatever. Because there's so many live acts out here there's so Man. much live music and all yeah. but, what people don't understand is that if you just humble yourself and put all that shit to the side and you just say all right i'm gonna bless the next man and the next man says i'm gonna bless the next man and everybody just run with that attitude mm. yeah i think the bird shit on the- <laughs> i seen that shit drip. Nah, hey but- rough heart baby that's what we do <laughs> yeah, yeah, so- no but like if anybody if anybody changed their energy if everybody change that energy yeah. and people just start just working with together, each other man. and fuck with each other, when this nigga go do a show, you dig, you mm-hmm. gonna get seen. When he do a show, you right. gonna get seen. When the he next nigga do a show, you gonna get a scene. He and everybody, everybody could come up. It's like when Houston did that whole Swisher House shit and the whole screwed up click shit. It was all individual artists who was like, hey, we gonna come together. You know. And start he, he's doing had that shit. course with me. He knows. He knows. This exactly is, bro, this is what we talk about. <laughs> you know, this is what we sit and we talk. Like literally, my my new campaign is the WSTTA. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. You know how brand baby WSTTA man. I don't know. And that. you know what's crazy? We stronger too? together than apart. WSTTA. We stronger together than what apart. What were you saying? Anyway, this motherfucker be hating on my nah, shit. Nah, nah, nah. You, you know, know what? Crazy. It's gonna be popping soon. Though. You know what's crazy, <laughs> man? What's up? I'll do records mm. and I'll put them out. And tell motherfuckers, hey, come fuck with me, do a song. Yeah. And people won't do it. People won't fuck with me. But out of town mm-hmm. niggas on, in- on Instagram first will hit me yep. up. Yep. And I'll put them on a song. Yep. And then I'll be in the studio with Bum B, be in the studio yep. with Wale, be in the studio Them with Them same Tory niggas Lanez. that didn't communicate with you start hitting your line. And, and these niggas, these niggas out of town, mm-hmm. they get their song in front of these famous motherfuckers. Yep. Just because they fuck with me. Yeah. Yep. Dick. And it's mm-hmm. like, I hit this one nigga, my nigga Taz, he making records for me right now. I don't know where he's from, none of that shit. We mm-hmm. just got connected like a month ago. Mm-hmm. And I was like, hey, Tory Lane's finna listen to your song. You feel me? And I'm like, damn, bro, niggas from my city can have that same T A A J. Okay. I can look it up in my email and give it to you. Yeah, we'll do all that shit later. But, um, I want to keep that energy. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he raw. But 
it's crazy because like I told the man, I was like, "Hey, Tory Lanez, finna listen to your song tonight." Yeah, you dig. But like niggas from my own city could have had that same opportunity mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. had they just humbled themselves and be like, "All right, I'm gonna fuck with this nigga." Big facts. You dig. So I got to a point where I'm not tripping on nobody. I'm not stressing nobody no more. I'm just gonna keep doing what I do. And if you want rock with a nigga, you can. But my energy is to fuck with any and everybody. Yeah. You dig? Because I know it's gonna take me further than just. Also, being bro, you never know which one of those motherfuckers is gonna like be on some Lil Xan shit and well, blow the. I mean, Fuck up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's like, what I'm saying. Exactly. That's why you gotta have the right energy. But let's finish it off. I'm saying like he has his top five, so I'm gonna let him take care of that, and then you gotta give me your your f yours, so how we can close it out and shit. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. So for the best part of the show, oh, I mean, really, hey. that so, I gave to him. I'm just saying. But go ahead. <laughs> top five. All right. So top five influences. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be musical influences, but you. As a person, as party boy, I'm not gonna drop your legal name. Hey, you as party <laughs> boy, know that shit. Oh, no. <laughs> he, he, he knew the government. He knows. <laughs> he not but gonna say you as party boy. What hey. are your top five influences, or who are your top five influences? Who's who's made you you today? Yeah, it could be anybody. It don't gotta be just music. I could definitely say uh, for music, definitely Nas. Okay, I want to give one to Nas. Big facts, Queens in the building. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> I listened to a whole lot of D Block growing up. Oh okay. shit! Yeah, she's Luke, shit. Luke, shit. Luke, yeah, Luke, all Luke, of that. He, he li- know he got that seat yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> listen to all that shit. Uh, definitely Tupac, because there was just something about his spirit. Oh, absolutely. You feel me? Not the best rapper, but the most influential, hands down. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, as far as uh, that's three so far. I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we got we got those. I want to say definitely Lil Wayne. Hey. I gotta give it to Wayne because there was a time where like he pushed he pushed that energy absolutely over, over yeah, the yeah. cliff. Absolutely, you feel me, bro? He's like he said in five. I'm the heartbeat of rap. Oh, this guy. He's stop. He yeah. is, stop. bro. Don't, don't cut off his five for that. He resuscitated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kept it going. Hadn't stopped. We know you like him. What's okay. all right? Number yeah. five. And probably the last one. This might be a surprise, but yeah. I probably fuck with Future. Oh, and, and the reason I'm I say that a little bit of a surprise. just said this, yeah. dog. Nah, man, the nah, reason's the like, truth. Bro. Gonna People it? sleep on future. He gonna explain it. Nah, like, tell but me. The, the thing too, because like me, I'm not someone who like just listens to the old school music and then I live on that shit forever. Right. I evolve. Right. So Facts. I pay attention to the new shit. I'm the oldest fucking here. To, I understand bro. what you're you saying. Have yeah. to. Yeah. And yeah. I stay, I stay current with what's going on and just the sauce that future introduced. I remember I was jamming him when nobody knew who he was, and I was right. telling people, hey. Because I, you know me, I was hustling. Like Pluto. You feel, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Dog, I was hustling, and I was like, you feel me, listening to the nigga while I was going to hit my licks and shit, and I was just like, bro, this nigga speaking to me while I'm riding around doing yep. my thing and shit. Mm-hmm. So like that whole vibe and that whole energy, like ain't nobody else was serving that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So like that really carried me a long way and shit. So like, I will say he revolutionized that ATL sound too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that that's his sound. I would say him like, and Migos were really on the forefront of that. I, I mean obviously before. I love know. Migos. I mean right like, after Migos you know are dope. Yeah. But like future they got a that. big sound. No, no, yeah, I totally future, agree. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Yeah. Super everybody, Yeah, everybody future. coming out. Don't don't sleep on Dungeon Family though. That's the old head of me. I'm yeah, just Dungeon Family. <laughs> <laughs> I would never <laughs> do that. You know that. Alright. So that's your top five. So that's my top five. So we said future Right, uh, not in any particular order, right? Yeah, not in any particular. Okay, order. so we said Future, Wayne, D-block, D-block. Wayne, Nas. Who I'm missing? Who was the other? Tupac. One? Tupac. Yeah. That's, that's a serious Shakur. list right there, man. For real. That's a good top five that are alive. Man. Appreciate that. Nah, of Hell course. Yeah. Hey, like I said, we appreciate you. So last thing is, is I mean, you know, to leave the the fans, you know, what I'm saying, what's your f your. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, and it could be, you know, it could be fuck, it could be follow. Honestly, I don't limit it. It could be flirt. If you gotta, if you gotta, you wanna Man. shoot your shot. We was talking about Nikki and Cardi early. Hey. You wanna shoot? It's flirt. You can do whatever you want. So who's your f yours? Before we get up out of here. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Just follow Party Boy Rock. Hey, there you go. Smart. <laughs> like, it? Marketing. This motherfucker you know, always marketing, right? Yeah, I'm, a, Smart. I'm a businessman, you dig? Right. So follow Party Boy Rock. Follow uh, Trey and Beta. Mm-hmm. You dig? That's, that's my dog. You feel me? We do this together. And uh, everything we doing, man, we got a lot of fucking crazy shit that's going to happen in 2019. And we just going to show love to all that shit. So. And we're going to have those exclusive interviews. Hey, <laughs> hey man, look. That's a, hey. Yo, that's a big bet. Yo, we, <laughs> we here at Hashtag F Your Podcast really appreciate you coming out here, Party Boy Rock. Uh, right. Dropping this knowledge, letting us know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, make sure y'all follow 
Party Boy Rock. I mean, he's moving and shaking out <clears> here. This is a real, real artist out here. Um, a lot of y'all cats out here aren't really doing it. He's really doing it. So and someone with the love for the other cats. And, out here. Exactly. Too. And he got love. Yeah, I show love day, but I tell That's people, right. hey, come, come do songs with me. You did. That's right. He don't need come to be to sitting shows. here with us, right? Yeah, but yeah, he bro. is. You know what I'm saying? So we appreciate oh, yeah, that, shit. man. I know you're a busy man, so we really appreciate you coming through, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my dogs. We gonna have to listen to some future. Hashtag get your hey, podcast. Shit, we gotta hit that bitch. studio. I'm trying to lay a verse. Right hey, right. look at yeah, this. Listen, listen, hey. and y'all ain't getting no more interviews from me. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag get your podcast. We out this bitch. Bye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>